Hey y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be a review and also a quick tutorial on how to make basic teases, well basic tees hoodie cow dress. Okay? So I really like basic tees because I've been using her patterns now for over a year. Um, when I took my sewing classes, I did not learn how to read patterns. These patterns are the very first patterns that I ever taught myself to read and I'm very super I'm super proud of that and I feel like her patterns are super easy to understand and if you've never even you know learned to read patterns these patterns would be super easy to understand. So the first reason I really really like her patterns are because they are easy to assemble. She places a guide um, within the pattern with blocks so the blocks tell you which page goes with what page, so like a puzzle. Um, and so that was the hardest thing for me to realize um, in my pattern learning journey. One day I was just looking like, how do you put these together? And then I realized, I was like, oh wait, she has a um, pattern like puzzle thing that you can look at and kind of like put them together. So. That was the very first aha moment I had with her patterns. Um, the next reason I really like her patterns is because her instructions are super easy to understand. So her instructions are super easy to understand and they're literally straight to the point. Um, her patterns are very nicely numbered. So let's say with this hooded pattern, there's only two pieces. So her instructions are literally three steps long to make this really cute dress. So yes, her instructions are straight to the point. And if you hear something in the background, y'all, I'm sitting outside. I have to be out in nature to be able to just concentrate and feel good. So I like to sit outside. So, okay, so the next one, the next reason is I like her customer service okay customer service i bought patterns from many people in this industry and horrible customer service horrible 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 i either get met with the attitude when i ask a question ignored or just just bad customer service her customer service is amazing um, i had to email her and she emailed me right back and helped me out um, with no issue can be her patterns can also be customized so another thing I've had an issue with is customization I bought a pattern from a lady before and I was attempting to customize it and I said you know this is my design as I was gonna customize it she literally came on my Facebook page started accusing me of stealing all kind of things so I don't shop with anybody besides basic tees my own personal pattern maker or joanne's fabric for commercial patterns so these patterns can be customized she does realize that we are the designer and that we can shape her patterns however we would like once we buy them so another reason i like her patterns is because they are affordable affordable i bought like five patterns for a hundred bucks versus Somebody else sold me one pattern for $60. So you do the math. Her patterns are very, very affordable. And if you buy like three, I think you get like a discount. So that's really, really good. The fit. So I've been using her patterns now for over a year and I've never had an issue with fit. Her patterns um, fit very well. I bought patterns from other people and my very first bad review was from a bad pattern. Um, the fit was horrible. So just keep that in mind. Her patterns fit very well. You can definitely trust them on the fit. Um, her patterns also look like the picture. So sometimes when you buy patterns, um, you're looking for the pattern to look exactly like the outfit that's advertised. And so with her patterns, that is what you get. You get the exact same thing advertised unless you are um, customizing it. Her patterns are digital, so you can print them at home. And yeah, that is pretty much my review on them. That is why I like them. Um, so the second part of this 
of this video is going to be me showing you guys how I actually make the outfit and a tutorial on how to make it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I am attempting to drape the pattern pieces first. I like to pin them together first because it saves me a lot of time at the sewing machine by not sewing things together wrong. When I kind of like pin them together first, I'm able to see like how the pattern is supposed to come together and how things are supposed to look and supposed to be, which saves me tons and tons of time at the sewing machine. And it keeps me from making unnecessary errors and possibly messing up fabric, um, but by not doing this part first. So my friend let me use her mannequin. And so I just drape it on there and pin it together first. And once it's all pinned together, I then take it down. I take it to the sewing machine knowing where I'm supposed to sew everything together at. So yeah, enjoy this part. It is one of my favorite parts to do now that I'm learning it. And yeah.
Okay, so here we are at our serger, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew um, the top of pattern one, pattern piece one, and the bottom of pattern piece two together with a serger stitch. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. You guys can enjoy that and vibe out to the music. And when we get to the next step, I'll be back. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is using a serger stitch, you're going to then go ahead on and sew the lower back seams with the one fourth seam allowance. Um, with, with, so you're going to sew the top and the bottom part of the dress together, the lower part of the dress. So, you know, like in the back how is that dip, it's a middle seam down there, you're going to sew that middle seam together.
So now I'm just going in and sewing over all of my seams that I made. I like to double stitch everything. Also going in and just making sure that the hood is sewn together down the middle. And yeah, so just going over all my seams. Also, when I get ready to do use my cover stitch to do the hems, I like to serge all of my raw edges so that they look clean and more professional. Um, I am self-taught, so I don't know if that's a real thing, but that's what I do and it looks nice. So that is why I do it.
So here I am, I am back at my cover stitch machine and you want to use a stretch stitch hem, either a cover stitch or you can use like a zigzag stitch, a stretch stitch hem um, on all exposed edges with a one and a half, not with one and a half, but with a half an inch hem. So I didn't um, do that part on camera, like with the pins, but I use a seam gauge and I'm gonna be linking everything down below. Um, you can visit my Amazon storefront um, to get everything you need, sewing machines, camera, every single tool that I use. Um, some of the links are affiliate links. I only earn like a small, small portion. Not even gas money no more because gas is so hot. So I don't even earn gas money no more. Just a small, small, <laughs> small percentage. Um, and it helps you all get started. And yeah, so make sure you check that description box below. But that's pretty much it it for this video i'm going to go ahead on and hem all of this up and at the end you guys will see the final results
and here is the final results i think it came out super super nice and it's available on my etsy i am back selling on etsy um, all of my outfits will ship same day if you order before three o'clock eastern standard time and yeah it came out super cute can't wait to make more in other colors